this video, I'm going to introduce the instrument, the bongo. Now, the bongo are two little drums that we have. So imagine two, two drums here, and you're going to hear it go pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom. So notice on that fourth hit of the bongo, there's a different noise. And this is when we should be tapping in our basic step. We'll get into timing later, just so you can understand uh, how to find the one or any count that you're looking for while you're dancing to the bongo. But right now we gotta make sure we're tapping on the correct uh, part of the bongo, which is the four and the eight in our basic step. So you're gonna hear it, it's gonna go, pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom. So the most important thing that you want to do is make sure you're, diff or you're tapping on that different sound of the bongo again. Let me put an example for you. So listen to this bongo. So there's a different noise right there on that fourth hit. So when I'm listening, I'm waiting for it. Does that make sense? So when you're listening to this bongo, you want to make sure you're going at the speed of the bongo also. It's going to help us determine our time while we're dancing. So when you're dancing, if I'm listening, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I'm going too slow. I'm not listening to the music or the bongo. Or I just go super fast. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. You have to... Almost like you're making the music with your feet. Da, da, da. Even when I'm doing my turns, I'm hitting each part of that bongo. Now, that was just a basic example of the bongo. I'm gonna give you a different example in a bit um, where the music is actually, the bongo can't just stay that flat or that plain the whole time, it's really easy to identify it in that example, but they gotta give it flavor. Sometimes the music is gonna go pa, 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 boom, pa, pa, ra, ra, and pa, 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 boom, pa, pa, diggy, 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 ta, ta. They're gonna give it flavor, they're gonna play with it, but don't let it confuse you. It's always gonna kinda almost round back um, to the same bongo where you hear that different noise on that tap, on that ta, 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 boom, yeah? So, one thing about your basic step, just in general, it's a little basic, uh, but as we go further through the course, it's going to be a lot harder when the um, introducing the other instruments and steps. But um, let's start with our basic first. I'm going to step with my basic. I'm going to step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Super important, especially when you start listening to the music and kind of playing with these instruments you wanna make sure your basic step is close to the floor. Yeah, you don't actually wanna raise your feet off the floor like this as you're doing this. Yeah, we talked about this in, my, in the beginner course, but same thing, just it's important to know. You don't wanna go step, knee, step, knee, step, knee, tap, because it kinda takes away from the whole feeling of you hitting the bongo versus like you stepping on it on each hit going ta, 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 boom, ta. That. When you include too much motion and this knee pop, it kind of takes away from it and it just makes that march feeling. So keep it nice and tight. Pa, 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 soft knees. Pa, 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 boom, and pa, 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 boom. Yeah. Um, so second thing we're gonna cover, um, the instrument. So I'm gonna give you another example. So the same bongo, it does uh, two different things. It can do that thing that I said, it's gonna go tak, 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 boom, tak, 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 boom. Or sometimes the bongo, it does the thing like in double time. It's gonna hit every count. It's gonna hit one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. But notice, even though there's more hits in the bongo, that tap or that noise on the tap on the four and the eight, it's gonna still be different. So we're still listening for that as we're doing our basic step. So when you hear it, it's gonna go, Tiki 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 tunku tiki 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 tunku tiki 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 tunku We're still making sure that we're tapping on that different noise of the bongo. Let me play an example for you. So we listen.
that different noise is right there. They'll play with the music, but it'll come back. It's okay. So every time I'm going up here, that's that noise on that different noise of the tap. Yeah, let's, let me actually rewind it. We'll actually dance it together just so we can hear it as we're tapping. So really listen in for that tap. Yeah, so for in that example, you're gonna hear all the different ways that they play with the music. They give it a little bit different variations. But again, don't let that confuse you. It's always gonna round off back to that different, that tap, 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 boom. Or just, you're gonna hear that different noise like in that example when they go tiki, 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 punku, tiki, 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 boom. Depending on the artist, depending on what song it is, sometimes that tap, um, it's gonna sound very similar to these, yeah, in some scenarios where, but you really have to like listen in. I just wanna be realistic so when you start listening to music, you're like, what, I don't hear it. Yeah, so it's okay when you start off. The more you train your ear, the more you're gonna be able to identify the different noise on that tap. But then you again, you have some different artists and different bongos where you're really gonna hear that different noise. They're like going like, da, 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 dum, da, 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 dum. And those are like the songs that you can really identify the bongo when you should be tapping. So these are super important tips um, just to get you started with the bongo at a basic level. Um, so just again, a recap, remember, we're dancing to the bongo, we're going pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom. The bongo helps us determine how fast we're gonna be dancing throughout the whole song and when we should be tapping, yeah? When you have just the bongo, you don't really have a, a set one or five or anything in your basic steps so you can't really just be on time with the bongo. Um, but it helps you know that when you should be tapping on the four or the eight. I'm gonna give you little tips later on how to find um, the one for your timing. So let's do a little exercise. I'm gonna let about two, three counts go by just so you can see if you can do the bongo on your own. And then I'll jump along to see if you have the correct timing. So. Right now, if when we start and I go left and you're going right, it's still okay as long as you're tapping on that different noise of the bongo. So I'll stay here for three counts. Try to listen in and see if you can find the bongo when, we should use, when you should be tapping. So start your basic. I'm gonna jump in. So it's okay if you're going the opposite direction, but you gotta make sure you're tapping at the same time that I am on either your left or your right foot. Let's try another exercise. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit harder um, just cause it's the, like an actual bongo with the different variations. So again, if you mess up or you have to rewind it and try again, perfectly fine. Um, but let's see if we can do it with this next bongo. Again, I'll give you a couple of counts to see if you can do it on your own and then try to match it with me. Again, don't worry if you're going the opposite way of me, just make sure you're going on that different noise on that tap, that the tap is the most important thing right now. 